Well, I got interrupted and I have to start my whole video over again. So, this is my first reptile pet haul. And, um, it just finally, everything came today. Moving my laptop away. And, uh, let's see. Now I gotta go down this list again. I was literally, like, the second thing from the bottom of my list. So, first thing I got were mealworm bowls. They were 99 cents each. They are Lee's Aquarium Mealworm Bowls. Say Lee's at the top. That's a cool brand name right there. <laughs> but, um, this is one in the container, and this is one outside of the container. Then, um, let's see, I got Eco Earth. Eco Earth. Um, I just got one brick, and it was $1.81. And at PetSmart, they are $5 for EcoWorth, and that's not even, like, the EcoWorth brand. That is their own brand at PetSmart. So, really cheaper online. I got RepCal Ultra Fine Powder Calcium with Vitamin D3. And this is a 4-ounce container. It was $5.10. And I got um, Zoomed RepDesafe Water Conditioner. And this is a 2.25 fluid ounces. It was a dollar ninety-two. Really needed this stuff. Then I got oh, Fluker's green as um oh I was gonna say aspen bedding. <laughs> Fluker's Fluker's green um sphagnum moss. Good lord, I could not read the name. Sphagnomos. And, um, it says for all terrariums, four quarts. And this is for mainly my crested gecko, and I'm gonna use this for Zuko when he molts, sheds, whatever it's called. So, yeah. Then I got this. I'm really hoping I didn't waste money on this. Oh, good lord, I'm gonna be interrupted again. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay. Um, this is Zoomed's can o mini mealies and it's like a whole brand that they have at Zoomed. Like you can get Zoomed can o crickets and can o worms or mealworms. And um, it, I like this because it comes with this little spoon because I was wanted something to scoop out the calcium with. So I'm gonna use like this end, and this end will be for those. And I already opened those. You can kind of look in there. My camera is not that good oh there you can see it those are not alive they're just like moving because I'm tilting it those are cooked mealworms they are cooked now yesterday at PetSmart when I got some more crickets I got some real mealworms real mealworms what's in here probably can't see none of them right now oh there we go see those those are some real mealworms and they're just like the regular size which is a good size for Zuko. And I've tried giving Zuko some of these. He ate one. I don't think he's too fond of it. So hopefully Stitch will like them. Because this was $3.09. And it's supposed to have um, over a uh, 1,500 small mealworms per can. So hopefully that wasn't a waste. <laughs> Then I got, this was the most expensive thing I got, Zoomed's, um, Reptitem, it's an undertaking cleaner, I'm not going to attempt to read that, Reptitherm, Reptitherm, UTM, undertank heater, and it says it is from one to five gallon terrarium sizes, and his tank is five gallons right now, see that, five gallons, I'm going to give the old heater to Stitch, so... I don't know how exactly I'm gonna do that. I don't know. We'll have to see how that works. But, um... And this was $14.59. So, it's just the heater that I have was from my brother, and he likes to destroy things. But, um... Oh my gosh, that looks just like Zuko right there. I'm going to put that somewhere. Oh wow, focus. That looks exactly like Zuko. That is awesome. Zuko, you're famous. 
I knew he was special. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it says it. Wow, that's a lot to read. Wow. Well, I have something nice to read when I'm done with this video. But, um, it's supposed to go either on the side or on the bottom of the tank. This is my summary of this. It goes on the side or the bottom of the tank. And, um, it's sticky on one side, and you put the sticky side on the tank, and you plug it in. And it also has these little, like, right in there, you can't see them, but these little, like, stickers that you put on each corner of the tank so the tank is slightly raised. So that way the cord doesn't get smushed by the weight of your tank, and a lot of technical things to that, like if that way the heating pad doesn't overheat. So... And that was something my brother did not do when he had his heating pads. He just stuck it on the tank. So, because my brother's a moron. Okay, and the last thing that I got, which I've already opened and made use of, is, um, this, it says terrarium liner, but it's repti carpet, okay? It's repti carpet. This is Zilla's green terrarium liner, and I got this for Zuko. It's already in his tank, which I already showed you, and he's already liking it. I had to cut it because the smallest size that it come in was a 10-gallon, and he's in a 5-gallon. So I got a couple little extra pieces, like I got this little swirly piece, and I got this, which I really... Th <laughs> I'm amazed. It made this, like, little tree trunk thing. So I'm going to put this with Stitch, and hopefully he can climb on it, and it, like, absorbs water, so help keep the humidity up. So yeah, that was everything I got. It came to a grand total of um, a little bit over $33 plus shipping and handling. So it was a little under $40, which would have been maybe $100 for this stuff at PetSmart. So not including these mealworms. I didn't get those mealworms there. Oops, I dropped my spoon. Aww. Oh my goodness, where'd it go? I lost my spoon. I have to find it in a second. <laughs> I'm going to do that one on camera. But, um, I was really worried because I thought that Stitch wasn't eating, but because he only ate, like, a couple crickets. And I also been giving him baby food. This is his baby food. And I, like, lick it up some. But he's not a big fan of it. But I found out that they're not that big of an eater. So, hopefully he'll like these. And now I have calcium. So now I'm going to get off and set everybody up. Um get the eco earth going and the moss and get some calcium so yeah and after that i'll make some update videos and let everybody know what i think of these new products so if you guys have any suggestions for care for geckos please leave a comment because i'm still learning about it i'm not trying to be like oh yeah i know everything about geckos i've just learned a lot in the past month so please leave a comment somewhere down there. Down there. So yeah, and thanks for watching and subscribe and yeah, you know all that. So thank you.